Good evening, boys and girls. I'm here to inform you that NBZ has been murdered. Murdered at my hands. And for that reason, I must now bring you a video containing the most gruesome and foulest of creatures found on this here planet. Or what one would call pocket monsters. <laughs> so I lead with my beast. My beast of burden who doth, who doth show fear and strike fear into every man. An innocent bystander here should be hit by my power, the hidden power within that one cannot tell. And he does take it. He does take it, but throw demon fangs my way which shall hurt my team. But it shall be okay, for a second hidden power shall demolish his hopes and dreams and kill every hope he has left in his pitiful life. Indeed, it is time now for his beast of burden to enter the fray which I cannot stand against, for mine, mine is too speedy and divine. The number of the devil shalt be 666, but my number, the evil number, the true number of darkness 247, that is the number. Does he think really that he can throw shadows my way? Shadows will not fail me. Shadows shall not do anything to me. I am the Lord of Darkness 247, and I shall throw my demon fangs his way. A witch he brings. A witch, a witch which shall cast its spell of toil and sleep and nightmare upon me. But I shall not take it lightly, no, no. For he dances and casts more spells and witchcraft his way, but it shall not be, it shall not be, for him today, no it shall not. Screech! Indeed, I shall lower him, lower him down to the depths of hell with my terrorizing, fearful screech. But alas, it is time for my 247 to fall into the depths of hell himself. But he has weakened the witch. The witch shall not prevail. It shall not. For my army of zombie madmen shall take it. Take it to the deceitful grave. I throw out the leader of my army of zombies. And upon the witch I place a punch. A fist. A dark, deceitful attack. And down it shall go to the depths of the dark hell. In comes his fabled fiery beast of burden. But zombies, though afraid of fire, shall not be hurt by psychic attacks. You cannot hit the mind of a zombie, for it has no mind. It shall eat your brains and absorb all you have, as mine does to thine beast of burden. Yes. And down it goes. Down it goes now once again after it thought it has it has had the game to a punch indeed, the same punch that did fell the witch. And there, thereupon the zombie leader shall take the crown. Indeed, in comes a delightful turkey dinner that the zombie should devour, but he is full for now, for now his brains have been fulfilled. And thus sacrifice he does a ghost. Sacrifice a ghost upon this Halloween. Indeed, the ghost cannot stand up to the fabled meal, or so it shall seem. And thus, unto the depths of hell, he sacrifices himself, and thus offers himself up as a burden for the zombie army leader to take his stand once more and throw his threatening punches the way of this beast. Indeed, hit hard and wounded, it shall fall. <laughs> what is this? An ugly beast, a beast so disgusting and foul and everything it stands for that it seems to me that it would strike fear into anyone who it touches. And thus it does strike fear into the leader of my zombies, paralyzing him with such fear that would be enough to take the heart of any man. Indeed, it is time, time for him to send out his ape, his human, 
his rotting corpse. That I shall strike, but weakened my power is. Of course, terrorized in fear, I cannot take many more hits. And thus the zombie leader decides that it is his time. He hangs on with a slice of breath and attempts the final, final destruction of the human race. But alas, he is too weak. There is no way to destroy the other. Indeed though, there is one last. A vampire, or one would call, who shall throw his head and bite the neck of the human, smashing his rotten corpse into the ground. And there, lords and ladies, the Dark Lord has conquered the human race. Have a very happy Halloween. <laughs>